Hey, all intrepid viewers, and welcome back to the Dark the Detective. Uh, I actually just spent the last minute and a half recording, but without recording. So, unless you want black screen and audio in the future, I can provide you with that. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, we're just gonna start the we're gonna start the the, the mystery here because uh, you didn't miss much. We missed the setup. There's a spooky train that I hope we get to suplex. In an old Final Fantasy reference, we got. Ticket machine, which I can't like interact with because I don't have a badge. Or well, I, uh, I, I hoped I could use my police badge, but this doesn't be the case. So we're gonna continue going down, I think. Flickering lights always suggest spooky hijinks. Sorry, detective, the barrier is broken. We have to crawl under it. Can't we at least jump over? No, the insurance for jumping was too high. We only cleared for a slow crawl. Being a cop is nothing like television promised it would be. Who has a promising television? That sounds amazing. I am totally for more ghosts, though. If all these, if all of these. Cases of ghosts. I'll be okay with that. Hey, busker. Oscar the Grouch. Uncle Sam don't want you know about the truth that I'm here to show. So it makes me frown when I smell me a pig and his dumb sidekick come to shove me down. Sidekick isn't a word. Poor license, pig. Well, I can still get nowhere with you, busker. The grouchy Oscar. Okay, I found the conductor. I had a good voice. Oh yeah, Lawrence Welk. Do you have a ticket, sir? Uh, is that Lawrence Welk? That's just friggin' bad European generic accent, isn't it? Uh, sorry? Who are you? Trains conductor, sir. Right. You look like, uh, you look a tad ghostly, sir. That I do, that I do. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the... Uh, it sounds kinda Irish for some reason. I mean, not real Irish, like fake bad Irish. Are you a ghost? Not at all, sir. Ghosts are blue, for one, and they can't be seen. Not without the proper equipment. No, we're from the dark side. Then, what are you doing here? Train stuck, sir, doing my job to keep the passengers safe Will this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir, I'm sure those boys from the Brightside Division are looking into it right now. <laughs> Brightside Division? Brightside Division! Right. I hope we get to meet them. Uh, why are you here? As I said, sir, train stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the track, sir. Would you have to see inside the control rooms to be sure, but I can't leave my post here. Ticket? Thought not. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you solids to leave. Did you just call me solids? Us? Certainly not, sirs. It wouldn't be thrown around language like that. Goodbye. Come back anytime, sir. Well, I don't have stuff. There is something about this green, transparent, and eerie train that suggests it's not meant to be here. I am a detective. Janitor cart. A plunger, but without the plungy bit. So, a stick then. Ah, I got a handle. Great. Security camera. I'd wonder if this camera caught any useful footage, but I can see that the working light is painted on. Um, I'm gonna look again. I guess I'll look at it again. I'm in general, and it hasn't happened yet in this game. In general, I am not a fan of point-and-click adventures that require you to click on the same thing multiple times. Okay, last of this. <laughs> Seems like that's the last of the sweet, sweet gender card goodies. Control room. The control room is locked. For now. Dually! Oh, come on, detective. You know as well as I do, these things go. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Dually. I'm not sure why I recommend you for that. Hmm, there seems to be something in here. A receipt. A ghostly receipt. Toilets. Rat. Well, if this was a, uh, friggin'. Oh, what were they called? What's the game that made, like, uh, the company? Beth not Bethesda, god dang it. Sierra. This is a Sierra game. I could have just lost the game by clicking that rat. Mirror. Hmm, I need to get my eyebrows plucked. Or threaded, even, duly. Cubicle. Hey, spooky hoverer. Uh, hi there. Oh, sorry, the door wasn't locked. Yeah, lock's broken. I have no feet to hold against it. Right, well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Whoa, hold up, daddy -o. I'm in a bit of a funky situation. Maybe you could help me out. Uh, what is it? Stall has no toilet paper, daddy -o, and I'm a cat that needs him some. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure, we can look. Do you want a receipt? Is this yours? No, but I found it in my pocket. Threw it in the bin on the way here. Would have kept it if I knew the paper s paper stitch in here. I'm not up to date. Toilet roll. I'm in a bit of a blind bind, Daddy O. Okay, we'll come back with some fresh toilet paper. That rat is back. Hey, day of the tentacle. What on earth is that? Not sure, but I think we should send it back to wherever it came from. Flush. No use. You could say that there's an in you could say that is an intentacle on staying where it is. Hey, hey, shut up, Dooley. I need to find something to push it down with. Use the stick. My gut says no one's. And really, I thought for sure that would work. Actually, 
Graffiti. That's some lazy graffiti. I always put- Oh, I always put in more effort when tagging the subways. What? You heard me, narc! Dually. I'm not shocked at you. Last door. I'm sure things will go great. Okay, toilet paper. Creepy or not, nobody deserves to be stranded without the toilet paper. Cool. Anything in the toilet? Flush. That always reminds me of my career since I was assigned to the Dark Side Division. Yeah, thanks, Dually. Okay, here you go, bub. Here you go, guys. Sorry to leave you hovering for so long. Far out, daddy Oh, Here, take this coin as thanks. Occult coin! I assume... Actually, let's check out. Can I go to the left a bit more? No. Toilet's end. That's good. I could check to the right, I suppose, but I'm pretty sure this occult coin is going to be used on the machine. There is not a chance in hell this will work. Oh, right. Of course. I got a ticket. Let's get on that train. Hey. That's the, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, what's. Blah, blah. A glowing green receipt that says for pickup. I can't read much else on it. It's in the garbage, you say. Or I remember. Here you go. One ticket. Fine. On you go then, I suppose. Is that good for both of us? Uh, apparently, one ticket is two people. Hey, hippie gal. Well, hello there! Hiya! Where are you off to? I was on my way to San Frankenstein Cisco, obviously, but then we got stuck here. This place is terrifying! How so? Well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky. Nobody is being followed by shadow men and nothing is on fire. Nothing! Maybe you're not the girl for me. Granny Dooley? Uh, Granny Dooley, is that you? Sorry, dearie, I'm Granny Gooley. You do look like my little Patrick, though. My name's Patrick, too! Did you also like games of I Spy as a child? I did! I spy with my little eye the coming of the end of the world hitting itself rivers of gore flood in the streets. I don't I don't know this version of the game. Oh, seeing the end times was little Patrick's favorite. I like your glasses. Duh! Dear my party goggles on your way to a party. Always, darling, every place is party placed when I have my goggles on, and I always have my goggles on, even here now we party on the train. Yes, yes, I think I want those goggles. To the tracks? Just to the tracks. Does the train just fade out? Oh my. Ah, a dark side portal. It appears we've found our number one suspect for all these strange going ons. You have the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say or do may be- Dooley, what are you doing? Reading it's it's its rights! And how exactly do you intend to arrest it? And why does a portal have rights? With my handcuffs, obviously! Top marks for enthusiasm, Dooley. She called him Don'tly. Oh my. It's mere universe me. Looks like that purple rift has an accomplice! I'm going to need a second pair of handcuffs! Agent McScream. Uh any idea? <laughs> Sorry, I heard the next one. Surrey City and Airlines, how's that treating you? No, 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 that's too mean. I'll, I'll get around to it, maybe. Any idea what's going on? Uh, how does he sound? I guess he sounds like an evil version of me, which is the same as me. Interlopers, fiends, fleshy monstrosities, things that should not have come to pass. Tracks of chaos intertwine. So not much of an idea right now, then. No. So you're an agent here, huh? We are all agents of the never-ending hunt, servants of the crawling death void, ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks, it's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. You look familiar. Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Does the storeroom recognize the... the, the wind? Rain? Damn it, man, I've lost my train of thought. Well, I lost a train too. There's a real train over here. So, we're shooting hairline? How's that treating you? The end comes for us all. Entropy is a cruel mistress. Yeah. Let's hope it's from the growing up. Let's, let's hope it's from growing up in this weird hole. Weird hole. I'd best be going. We had all best be going to the places we would best be at. Yeah. Okay. Well, onto this train, I guess. With regular people. Finally, someone is an authority. Conductor Al. Uh, Conductor Al can sound like, um, I don't know. Uh, uh hey! Sorry, guy, but you don't know any more than the rest of us. Hi, detective. What's going on? All right, was that? Did I give her that voice before? I actually didn't recognize her until just now. Until I said her name, of course. Raxa, why are you here? Getting the train home from college? Then we got diverted to wherever this is. Well, we're on the case now, so get comfortable. He means no. Yeah, I get it. I mean, no, if I can help out at all. We'll do. Here's a receipt for you, Raxa. 
Doesn't feel right to me. Okay. Hey, headphones. Hello. Do daddy. I wonder if he even knows what's going on. Stay back, monster. Whoa, calm down. Sorry, I thought I thought you were him. Him? The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat anyone else who gets off the train. Arrest or eat? Yeah, and I'm not sure who to who chooses. What's going on here? That's who he can be. No, that guy. Hmm, I gotta wait for you lined up next. You're not you're not really not him? I, I don't really know what happened. We left the last station on time. Then some weird lights flash, and now we're here, wherever here is. Who's this man you keep talking about? He he looks a bit like you, only not not at all. Now that I see you, properly see you, he stalks about outside this train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more menacing than dangerous. Goodbye. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about that mix-up earlier. Waster. Hey, dude, we've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm afraid, because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not a liber- Yeah, I think I indulged a little too much this morning. You probably shouldn't tell me about that. I'm an officer of the law. Law! Far out, dude. Never mind. Okay, well, you're useless. Warning sign. If you find yourself in a parallel dimension, please stay in the carriage. An oddly useful warning. Fire extinguisher. In case of fire, pray somebody has refilled the fire extinguisher. They have not. What a pity. To the platform. I should probably stay with these people and make sure they're okay. You're tired from walking through the tunnels, aren't you? Stop using your Sherlock powers on me! Hey, ghost cop. Hey, ghost busker. What's your name, Ghostbuster? Lansick Lee. Uh, what do you sound like? I guess you could be the same voice. I mean, you're just a counterpart, right? So, sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. That's how buskers work here, you tourist. Do you need a receipt? Those look like lyrics to a song I once wrote. Arr, 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 beautiful. Ah, uh, you're a cop. Um, oh, you're Chief Cooley. If Chief... Dooley is vaguely, vaguely Irish, and I'm being quite generous with myself. Maybe Chief Gooley should be vaguely, vaguely, vaguely Scottish. Can I even do that? Can I even make that difference? I don't know. Probably not. I'll just try, and it will sound the same, which is the point. Ah, well, beautiful. Brings a tear to the eye with what with the memories. Oh, God damn, it's so bad. I did not think it'd be that bad. It stirs to me childhood spent playing cops and convicts in the Isle of Screaming Tar. Yeah, you, uh, is it gravelier? I don't even know. Anyway, he liked that song. What's all this then? A note from your mum? Now then, now then, now then, now then. You look like one of those living folk we've got brought in about the place right now. Officer Dooley? Name's Gooley. Chief of the Brightside Division. Bright, so he's just a pirate now. Jesus Louise, I'm embarrassed. I should take friggin' dialect classes. Brightside. Division. Specialist deals with threats from your neck of the woods, so to speak. My neck of the woods? The other world? That which from whence you come, son? I surmise from your appearance that you are a detect... detective. Albeit one down on his... on his luck. Could it, Oh, I could do Super Dick Van Dyke-y. Uh... <laughs> Cockney. <laughs> but he, he recently apologized for that, actually. Hey! I presume that being this the case, you've crossed over to investigate your world version of this situation. Is that what he said? That's what I read. I am. Can you help? No, son, I cannot. This isn't your jurisdiction. You should leave this to the professionals and take care of your train back in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Juris jurisdiction, son. Seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Is that better or worse? I don't know. This is a restricted area. Classified personnel only. Are you a classified personnel? My mother's a beer. No, I did not think so. Hannah can't myself and McSclean being the only ones who is that Scottish. That's exactly what it's like. I should know. I've never been there. So unless you're one of us, I suggest you step back, son. Step back. Okay, well, fine. I'll do that then. I've got a stick. You want this, Busker? My gut says no on this one. Well...